go. So this video is to demonstrate how I isolate uh, seeds from Metacago. The one that I have today, these are seed pods of Metacago uh, Trancatala A17, Ecotype. And to do this, uh, I originally made this contraption here. It's just wood that I have cut some uh, grooves into on the top and the bottom. And then I also reinforced it with tape just because it was over time, uh, prolonged use. It was starting to slowly fall apart. I think the tape helps keep it together. Um, this is probably not the best you know, method you, to do this, but it works. It works really well. So um, I've already been isolating some seeds, as you can see here. But right now I'm just going to show you uh, a real quick demonstration of how I do it. So I'm doing 100 pods. and. Whenever uh, I do this step, I only do about 10 pods at a time. So we're gonna, the first step is to crush these up. You, you could probably use a hammer on the side, but you know, since I have this contraption right here ready, I use this. So it's gonna be loud. But, all right, just gonna make sure to crush these up because the next step will be to just grind these and to get the seeds out. Okay, and the reason I keep it to 10 pods at a time is because that's about the most efficient number so the pods aren't going everywhere, flying out as you're crushing them. This number can keep them kind of in the middle of the contraption as you're crushing them and also as you go into the next step, you're not you know, having things fall out all the time and having to collect it back in. So, um, I'm not going to put too much pressure because uh, I don't want this top uh, uh, sieve to break. And I guess I could also mention like the holes for this one are big enough for the Medicago seeds to fall through, but this next one catches them. And then the final uh, bin here is just a collection. This is all debris that we don't want. Okay. So on to step two. I'm going to just grind these up. And as I do this, sometimes little parts will fall out. I'll just put them back in. Doing this. Flip it okay, and now it seems like I got it. The way we know we have it is you know, you'll end up with the pod remainders that look not very structurally eh, there, they're ground up, and you can actually see the seeds that have fallen off. So, give it a quick whack, get that stuff onto the seed there. Yeah. Filter it on through. All right, and then just double check if there's any seeds up here. You know, you want to make sure you collect them. Otherwise, this debris gets uh, tossed. And then eventually, once we've gone through all the pods, we'll have the seeds here. And then the final step will be to try to get all these other uh, pod debris out of the way and only end up with the seeds. And that's the general protocol. Thank you.